and welcome back to a brand new video and it is absolutely bitter in Blackpool today the uh, the tide is high you see the sea is really really choppy And uh, I just got absolutely soaked just before I started this uh, this introduction. So yeah, we're in the uh, the south side, and uh, we're going to have a, a bit of a look around, see what's uh, see what's new in the uh, the south side, and see how uh, how busy it is. So uh, come and join me. So there is a Blackpool Pleasure Beach Resort, and it just looks deserted, and it's uh, finished for uh, for this year. For this season, it just looks like a like a ghost town over there. You know, everything's uh, it looks all grey and murky, and nothing going round. But there's uh, lots of repairs, lots of maintenance work going on behind the scenes, ready for a, a new season. So you can see the, uh, the south pier just uh, just in front and you can see how choppy the sea is today. It's, uh, it's nothing like the, uh, the storms we've had of recent, but it's uh, certainly a, a choppy sea. So just walking towards the, uh, the sand castle, we're going to have a, a look around there because I've drove past here quite a few times and it doesn't seem like Christmas um, on the south side. There's no sort of Christmas trees up. There's nothing festive about the south side of Blackpool, unlike the, uh, the north and the central, where everybody seems to be uh, in their Christmas spirit. So we're going to have a look and just see if there is anything resembling Christmas in the, uh, in the south side. Also, we're going to have a, a look at a few hotels and just see if they're uh, still operating I know there's a lot of these that have sadly been bought up and some huge huge hotels as well which are sadly gone so yeah we'll, uh, we'll keep walking and uh, just see what else we can uh, discover and find on the south side and you see we've got the uh, the brave fishermen uh, because it's such a choppy sea you know it's all uh, sort of encourages shall I say the fish to come to the surface and you see uh, there's quite a few of these fishermen dotted about just uh, waiting for that special catch and possibly grab their uh, grab their dinner okay. and you see you know all along the uh, the wall you got all the uh, all the fishermen out like i said it's uh you know when it's choppy you certainly catch or you're in for a, a good catch and uh, all these are uh, the dedicated ones that come out in all the uh, all the weathers certainly hoping for that catch you see the, uh, they've got the flasks of coffee and all the sandwiches ready for the next uh, next few hours we're just near the uh, the south pier and you can see it's still very very rough and uh, certainly uh, certainly choppy so yeah we're gonna head a little bit more towards the uh, promenade have a bit of a look around and uh, have a look at some of the uh, the old hotels as also. So just next to the uh, the South Pier, you see the uh, little shops still open, but there's no one really around on the uh, the south side of Blackpool. You see the uh, the pier is open. Let's just pan the camera around to the uh, to the right, and you see it's like a deserted town up this neck of the woods. It's very very quiet. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Pablo's uh, Fish and Chips, just opposite the, uh, the South Bean. You see the little uh, rock cafe, or the, I say, uh, the rock shop there. You see it's, uh, it's quite quiet, not really many people around. See all these uh, wrapped up in the coats. Look at them, sheltering from the, uh, the rain and the, uh, the wind. So 
you see all these uh, these wonderful little shops you know sell all sorts and certainly the uh, the hats and scarves this weather is uh, winter is rapidly approaching and you know, they sell all sorts of little goodies like they little little things for the dog you know it's amazing what these uh, little shops sell but you see how quiet the uh, the south side of Blackpool is and as of yet we haven't spotted anything to do with Christmas unlike the uh, the north side so again there's many of these little uh, shops that you got the the beach market I mean that's uh, that looks open so they've got many little shops around the at uh, the south side but you know sadly you know once the uh, the pleasure beach closes I know it's uh, I think it opened just sort of the weekends at the moment you know, once it uh, once it closes, there's not much really happening in the uh, the south side of Blackpool. So we'll just head over towards the uh, the Pleasure Beach a little bit more. I want to go and have a look at some of the uh, the hotels um, around this area because there is some fantastic ones. You can see all the little cafes are still open. Look at that, is that Woodheads is that one called? So you got all the little cafes, but again, you know, there's, there's not a soul. Look at that, completely empty. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head on, like I said, past the, uh, past the Pleasure Beach and uh, have a look around. I mean, that's another great one, the Velvet Coaster. Again, you get your, your great breakfast in there and your coffees, all sorts. And you can see uh, straight, uh, straight ahead, that's the, uh, the Sandcastle Water Parks. And that is, uh, that's, that's still open. And uh, just next door, we've got the, uh, the Grosvenor Casino. So we do fancy a bit of flutter. You can always pop into that one. And this is the uh, the mini golf. And uh, who's brave enough to uh, go on this one today with the uh, the wind and the rain? And you can still see he's uh, he's still open. He's uh, he's in that little hut just to the uh, the right hand side. And he's still open, but yeah, you can see there's uh, no one, no one participates in this one today. So there's the uh, the Boulevard Hotel and uh, the uh, the big blue hotel. So imagine all the uh, all the stars, what's all performing Blackpool, will probably be staying uh, in one of these hotels as well as the, uh, the Imperial and the Grand and the huge, huge hotels. But going along, you know, you've got the, uh, the Esplanade Hotel, that's still open. But yeah, you have a bit of walk, we'll have a bit of walk, and there's quite a few. What has that uh, sadly gone? Uh, in fact, there's uh, one, and we're gonna have a, a quick look because they've got a fantastic little, like, little boat in there. Uh, I don't know if you can, uh, you can see it. But yeah, it's the, uh, the Esplanade, and they've got uh, like a lovely little Viking ship. Just in this all, uh, I'm going to have a, a bit of a close look at that one. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a miserable and dreary day in Blackpool today. So we're just near the, uh, the spinning silver ball, or is it an illusion, or does it spin? It's, uh, it's one of those. So we're going to have a, a quick look at that one, because that's a, another great one. But yeah, you can see, the sea is uh, certainly rough. And... Uh, Look at the, uh, the huge waves, what are coming over. Look at that. And uh, it's certainly uh, getting a bit rough out here on this, uh, this bitter, bitter cold um, Sunday. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a, a quick look because it's uh, spectacular just seeing mother nature um, at her best. Look at the uh, there, so you won't go too close, but just look how look how rough the uh, the sea is. You see the uh, the South Pier again in the distance. Wow, certainly some of these won't stand around too long. I can see one of these huge waves coming right over.
towards the, uh, the silver wall. So it actually does spin round. So sometimes people say it's an illusion, but yeah, it does, uh, it does spin round. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back towards the car because I'm getting absolutely soaked. The rain's really starting to, uh, to come down. This sea's choppy and it's such a miserable day. But I just thought I'd uh, bring you a bit of uh, what's happening on the, uh, the south side of Blackpool for a change. So we'll have a walk longer the hotels because there's a lot of these uh, have uh, sadly gone and these you know it's a spectacular little area for the hotels you know it's all sort of curbs in and it's wonderful so we're gonna have a, a bit of a look and uh, see which ones are still open so this is the uh, the hamptons and it's uh, by the hilton and we have got a christmas tree look at that so we've uh, seen our first christmas tree even though it's uh, inside but we've seen our first christmas tree in the uh, the south side of Blackpool there we go lovely and decorated so what we'll do we'll have a, a quick look around so let's we'll pan the camera around to the uh, to the left and this leads us on to the uh, the Waldorf Hotel the Waldorf Hotel you can see that's uh it looks like it's all closed down it looks like there's no lights lights on in that one but we'll just uh, move down a little further so you know just past the uh, the Waldorf there's quite a few of the uh, the hotels which have uh, sadly gone look at this so there's uh, sort of two or three of these well they're being boarded up and uh, no longer in uh, in use which is a uh, shame you could, but you can actually see that one of the windows if the window's open there's a, a flickering of the blinds so, uh, you know is it is it haunted or is uh, the window open i'll leave that one up to you but i mean these were must have been magnificent back in the days you know overlooking the sea wonderful wonderful hotels so you know fingers crossed you know somebody comes in and uh, takes it over and reopens them because like i said this is a lovely lovely part of the uh, the south side uh, we've got the uh, ocean bay hotels that looks open they got the uh, got so sort of many of them were well, still open just uh, just those couple um were sadly closed and you see just in the uh, just on the left hand side you see the Blackpool Pleasure Beach Resort, so it's just a stone's throw away. So let me know, you know, if you stayed in any of these wonderful little hotels and guest houses. You know, the Kingston Hotel, they used to have a... Oh, sorry, I do apologise, the Kingsbury Hotel. You know, there's so many. Look at these, all uh, the Sandpiper Holiday Apartments, the Trafford. You know, the Hotel Skype, so there's wonderful all uh, guest houses around this area. So that is the uh, the end of the video um, for today. So yeah, South Shore, a little quiet as it's uh, out of season. Hopefully they'll get uh, some sort of like tree up and uh, you know, a few few little, little stalls, a bit like the on the comedy carpet. I know you can't have two Christmas markets, but it'd be nice just to uh, bring a bit of festivity to the, uh, the South side. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video. If you haven't uh, already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel out enormously. Hit the like button if you do like it. Any comments, I will try to get back to you. And until next time, take care of yourselves. And it is a bye from me. Bye-bye.